Hey Cam fam, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Jill. And this is Cam Bus News. Now to the news. Rescheduling for the COVID term times will take place as phone calls from April 1st, um, this Wednesday, to April 4th. The calls will come from a university phone number, so please try to not ignore the call when it comes. Please be available 20 minutes before and after your scheduled um, time. And if you're scheduled to work during your scheduling time, please try and sell your shift or email James, the scheduling supervisor, to let him know that you will not be available during your scheduling time. Please have your availability schedule um, in front of you and have the live stream Excel sheet on SharePoint pulled up during your phone call to streamline the process. As a reminder, everyone is allowed to schedule 20 permanent hours um, to start with. You can add additional hours after, but this is um, the limit for the first round of scheduling. If you have any additional questions um, regarding the COVID term scheduling, there are two additional links on the Canvas SharePoint homepage. When servicing the VA loop, please make sure that you're pulling up so that your doors are in line with the yellow boxes that are painted on the ground. Um, the only time that you would pull up further or closer to the stop sign is if there are four buses um, currently at the VA loop and we would need to fit more people in. Then you can pull past the yellow boxes. Um, also remember that all speed limits in every parking lot that CAN bus services is 15 miles per hour. And please make sure to be going 15 to ensure the safety of all passengers and pedestrians. The final thing, please make sure that you're going 15 miles, um, 50 miles per hour or less when driving through the construction on Madison Street. Um, it's very tight with all the construction and cone setup and be very cautious of pedestrians and construction um, workers um, as you're driving through this crowded area. Now we're going to head over to Jill with the most recent coronavirus updates. Remember that passengers are not to enter the front through the front doors, so please only open your back doors unless of course the passenger needs assistance, then they can come through the front doors if they need you to kneel the bus or deploy the ramp, just make sure to do that. To help protect yourself and others, please wipe down the driver's area with the Clorox wipes we have in the driver's room area. Um, specifically focusing on the steering wheel, all the buttons and knobs, the phone, the radio, and the handrails. When you wipe your MDT off with those Clorox wipes, please be very careful not to hit the emergency button to avoid false alarms. We'll also be making a Facebook post um, about what to do in a false emergency alarm situation, just as a reminder. And please make sure you're keeping up with your emails, um, the Facebook posts, and the posts on SharePoint for updates to route changes and punch in time or location changes since a lot of the routes and where they're located and where you clock in will be changed. So just to clarify, there are no minimum hour requirements during this time and you're not required to work during the COVID term time but the max amount of hours you can work weekly is still 30. During this time, all the university on-campus buildings are going to be locked 24-7. Um, this means if you do need to clock in, if any shift clocks in at Papa John, you'll just call up um, to the hub on your personal phone for Papa John clock-ins, and then make sure you're bringing your Iowa One card everywhere you go because you will need it to enter the bar again. Also, we can get into Papa John, Hardin Library, and Hampshire between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. only for emergencies being like a tornado warning or really bad weather. And we'll also put a follow-up post on Facebook about this to clarify this well. Additionally, if you plan on leaving Canvas for a while, please keep Mia and or Brian updated with your plans. And if you live in the dorms, um, or if you lived in the dorms but wish to continue working, please email Mia and Brian and they can try to work something out for you. Finally, we just want to thank everybody for all of their efforts during these unprecedented times. If you're not currently in Iowa City working but you still have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any support member through email or the Facebook page. 
that's all we have for you today. Um, we're sending you all the positive vibes in the world as we all transition to online classes and continue our social distancing, quarantine, all that good stuff. Make sure to continue sanitizing, washing your hands, drinking water, avoiding large crowds, taking walks, getting in plenty of sunshine and fresh air, and keeping yourself busy. Um, that's all. Have a great week, Cam Fam. Okay. <laughs> Stop.